this time we're talking about City of Glass by Cassandra Clare, book three in the Mortal Instruments series. It has been probably 12 years since I've read this. What? Yeah. I didn't know it was that long. I guess I don't know exactly sure. I'm like 29 now and I read it in high school, I think. So it's been a while. You'll have to okay. remind me what happened. <laughs> Okay, the last one we wrapped up with um, Valentine taking the sword and there's the whole battle on the ship and then he basically disappears. So it picks up from there where he's trying to get the third mortal instrument, which is the mirror. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the plot. So in order to like start to track him down, I find out like a lot of like really good spoilers in this book. Um, Simon's getting more into his vampire role. But he's a daywalker now, right? Yeah, so they, they call him a daylighter in this um, series. But yeah, he can be out in the sunlight. And what else? Did he... And so he's kind of like trying to help them like be more of a shadow hunter than a vampire really doesn't really hang out with vampires that much. So it's kind of about basically trying to stop um, him from getting the mirror. Because if he gets the mirror, then he can summon an angel. Oh, yes. Okay. And the angel has to give him, like, grant him one wish, basically. What did you rate the third book? Um, I rated it an A minus. So it was, I don't know, it was super hard to put down. So Did you finish this one in a day too? I think it was two days probably. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's the, one of the bigger ones for, I mean, it kind of wraps up the three mortal instruments, like finding them or Valentine finding them sort of thing. So yeah, it was super good. Action was like super good. And there are a lot, there's a lot of twists in this where I'm like, what? But yeah, it was super good. So A minus for sure. I feel like if you are a YA fan and like mm -hmm. fantasy mixed with uh, kind of like romantic twists, then this is a really great series because like there's action, there's, you know, creatures, there's this whole like plot and story and quest mm -hmm. going on. Um, and it's written very well. So Yeah, it's not just like straight romance. There's like a lot going on. Yeah. So let's do some spoilers are you gonna rate it mad oh so well i kind of for, forgot what happened in this <laughs> <laughs> i read i read the whole series in a minus okay that's fair because it was kind of my introductory fantasy series it's one of the very first ones i ever read to where um it had you know another realm to it or different creatures and i have to rate this an A for sure because it got me hooked on these type of books and led me, I think, eventually to read, you know, A Court Thorns and Roses, Black Witch, all those ones that I love now. So, mm -hmm. a lot of love for this series. Mm -hmm. For the spoilers, is this the book where you find out they're not actually siblings? Okay, I thought so. Yes. Yeah. That was relieving because I had some very bad vibes <laughs> leading yeah. up to that point. Because, like, she's like, we can't ever date. And Jace is like, I don't even care if you're my sister. Ugh. Like, she's more interested or like trying to wake her mom up is the whole, they're still trying to do that. And so then they wake her mom up and her mom's like, yeah, Jace is not your brother. There's no way that he is. And then before he, before she, they wake her up, she meets a friend of the, the family that they're staying with. Mm -hmm. and she like sort of gets a crush on him and that guy's actually her brother Sebastian yes Sebastian <laughs> and so they like go to find um the book of the white mm -hmm. together or whatever and they like make out and she's like it felt really wrong and I'm like, well, obviously and What's then the crazy guy, about that too is that he actually knew right Sebastian knew yeah he knew 
and we also didn't care. So, <laughs> Loki continues not to care, but then they find an angel and they find out that Clary has angel blood and so does Chase. And that's why she can write the or draw the runes, right? Yes. And then Bastion has demon blood. So, and then like Sebastian's working with Valentine. And so, like in the middle of this, they find the book, whatever. And then Jace is like, I'm going to go kill Valentine because he still thinks that he's his like son. Mm -hmm. He goes to find him and he's like hiding in this cave, listening to him talk to Sebastian, who he thought was a friend of his friends or like their cousin, technically, of his friends. And he's like, realizes that he's not his like biological son he was just like an adopted son so that it gets kind of interesting with that and he's like yeah it's and then, so twisted like it's yeah. so interwoven all of these stories yeah there's so many people too that i'm like oh my god i'm like gonna forget who people are so there's just so many i was kind of bummed Correct me if I'm wrong, but Alec and Magnus are in this one a ton. They're not in it a ton. Yeah. No. Because this one, made me sad because they're my favorite. Yeah. So Ma they go to find a warlock, Ragnar, and they get to the house where they think the Book of the White is, and then they find Magnus instead of Ragnar. But yeah, that's. But this is the one where Alec decides to date Magnus. Like get oh, okay. yeah. So yeah, they have the the ball or whatever they go to. Mm -hmm. So I think they yeah. provide such good comic relief. Yeah, um, they're so do. though. Yeah. Like in the first, I think first couple, he's kind of annoying and naggy. Um, mm -hmm. He gets better as the series goes on, in my opinion. To where he his scenes are they add more benefit. Yeah, he has lots of like uh, vampire jokes <laughs> <laughs> that are really kind of amusing. I don't know. But yeah, he's not like in a fight with Jace anymore. So they're all kind of like working together. So he's definitely more entertaining than the following books than the first few. But yeah, this is the one where Alec like goes to Magnus's apartment and they start dating. I'm kind of surprised but, that it, this wasn't a trilogy. Like when I got three fourths of the way yeah. through this, I was I thought it could have been a trilogy. Yes. But like, what is gonna happen in the next two? Because there's two yeah. books, so it kind of seems like you wrap everything up, but then the series continues. And I don't think it necessarily is like terribly drug on. Um, like they definitely no. do other things. But mm -hmm. um it I think it could, it probably, if I had to guess, Cassandra Claire probably started out as a trilogy that then was like flowing so well that she extended it to six books. Yeah. Yeah. Cause there's definitely a twist to get the fourth book mm -hmm. book started. So yeah. Yeah. That is City of Fallen Angels. Yes. Yeah. So that is the one we'll discuss next time. Mm -hmm on our little mortal instruments series and then after that we have to do infernal devices i might reread yeah. those i've been reading um uh, eldest curses what is that those, they're just about magnus and alec what i didn't know these existed yeah there's two of them they're not they're not huge books but they're super good so like, you know, when Magnus and Alec go on vacation, mm -hmm. it's about one book is about that. And then the other one, I just started it today. So right now it's kind of like a spot that doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really go with. Okay. What did you say they're called? I'm going to write this down. Eldest Curses. Eldest Curses. Okay. Yeah. The first one was really good. And the second one I just started. It's super good so far oh i'm excited they're my faves yeah and there's a book about just magnus too but <laughs> there's like 20 <laughs> books are in this series i look there's 20 books that go with the shadow hunter world that is crazy yeah think of how many pages that is that's a 
that's a ton because like these are not small books this is 530 plus pages yeah and there's like the next one there's that's a all like two shelves on a book on a there's book. there's six books in this not five yeah and then there's three infernal devices and then there's another series after that yeah the dark art of devices yeah that you meet in the series when they're kids and then there's like some other random ones like about magnus and then the magnus and alec ones well you gotta appreciate the fact of how quick she writes books like yeah and they're I good would love it if a couple of my other authors would <laughs> <laughs> hop to a little bit yeah like akatar and blood and ash i'm like oh my god sarah j moth is rather quick but not quick enough for the like how much i love her books like could we well, have like, three a year yeah and she has two series at the same time so it's kind of like difficult because mm -hmm. you're waiting for crescent city and you're waiting for akatar liz decides to just crash in at the last minute I'm sorry. <laughs> well, there you have it. City of Glass <laughs> by Cassandra Clare. We rated it ace. And if you like fantasy, you will probably like this series. Super good. Super good.